Hey everyone. So I want to do a couple of videos on how to use a tablet and notebook software. So I'm going to make it two parts. The first part I'm going to show you how to get notebook software on your computer if you don't already have it. And just a couple of quick things on once you have notebook open, how do you use a tablet uh, to do some stuff in there. So first off, getting notebook. So I made this uh, easier for everybody. If you don't have notebook on your computer at home or on whatever device you're using, you can go to our shared drive. So open up Google. We go to our waffle. So if you're lot if you're in Google Chrome and you've got Google as your start page, you can just go to your waffle. If not, you can go to your Gmail first and then go to your waffle. Go to your drive and in drive you can see shared drives. So any uh, shared drives that someone else from other departments or other areas in NLC of share with you will be there. We're going to go into the OD community. And I've added a folder in here, software we can use from home. So in here I put Smart Notebook. I've also put Exam View. There's a graphing calculator that you can use and also uh, the software that I use, which is a different company than Smart, but pretty much the same features. So for this, I'll just show you how to get smart. So you got to open up the first one and the second one, really. So what we have to do now is download both of these files. So you can right-click on each of them and go to download. The product key is really small, so that there's no issue with that one. But the smart notebook file is fairly large, so you'll get this uh, kind of download anyway box because it is also uh, a file that you need to install. So there's no issue with this one. You can just download. Over here, you'll see these two little boxes and you'll see this green bar. So they will show you the progress. And these are uh, normally downloaded to your downloads folder on your computer. So the easiest way to get there would be to go to your file explorer. And normally for, well, for Windows, You'll see these tabs over here, and you've got the downloads one. So you click on downloads, and if you sort by date modified, you'll see that there's some downloads happening there, and the two newest ones should be on top. So this is currently the smart notebook file that's being downloaded. And when it's finished, it'll turn into uh, smart notebook 2013. When that's done, you would double click on it to install it. And as you progress through the installation, at some point, you'll be asked for the product key. So you just open the product key, type it in. And that's the version we have rights to. So you can use that, but don't update it because we don't have the license for the newer version. So once you have that done, then we can use Notebook with our tablet. So Notebook should be uh, on your desktop now. So you open up Notebook. And while that's happening, I'm going to switch to uh, the camera view of my tablet. So here we have my tablet. You can see there's a surface here for writing. This will not show your screen. This is just a, a surface that you can write on. And uh, here's the pen. So the pen acts like your mouse combined with the tablet. This one is wireless. They come in different sizes. I find this one uh, plenty big enough and essentially you have a mouse so you have a mouse with a right click and a left click the right click one is a little bit tricky to use most pens for these tablets will have a little button right here and that's your right click button I don't use that very often the tablet itself and the pen work like a mouse when you touch or when you click on the tablet that's essentially your left click like you're using the mouse. When you hover, but I'm not touching the tablet, that's like moving your mouse around. You can see that happening on the screen. So with notebook software, now that it's open, I can just pop it up. In your classroom, if you're using notebook, you pick up the pen, the program, and the board recognize which pen you have. When you're using the software on your computer, you have to tell it. So I'm going to use the pen, I'm going to make it red, and then I'm going to uh, print something out. 
And that's the main benefit of having a tablet is you're not trying to write or draw with a mouse. So it might take some getting used to. I write, I follow the cursor to know where I'm going to be writing. So I don't look at the tablet at all. I'm looking at my screen. You have to select eraser if you're going to erase something. So whatever function you want the mouse or the uh, pen to do, you need to tell it. And that's that's it. That's how you would use a uh, notebook and a tablet. And then, for example, if you were using this in Google Meet, you essentially just share your screen and you've got a whiteboard and you can make it full screen and your full screen is your whiteboard and there you go so I'm going to do another video as a part two to this where I'm going to show you how to use notebook software to annotate any creative lessons so if you've got notes in doc or PDF or slideshow you can open them up in notebook and do this with them during a Google Meet uh, using your tablet and that, and that's really the the benefit of having uh, a tablet and notebook software and that's what I've been doing uh, in my classroom for many many years okay so stay tuned for the next video